Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for February 6th of 2024 is titled NGC 1566, a spiral galaxy from Webb and Hubble. So what do we see here? Well, this is what we see in with the galaxy known as the Spanish Dancer Galaxy and is actually an example of a prominent spiral galaxy. In fact, one of the nicer ones to be able to image in the sky. Now, as you look at it here, you'll see that there are two different images cut along the diagonal here. So one image in this case to the upper left side is taken by the Hubble Space Telescope. The one to the lower right side is taken by the James Webb Space Telescope. Now you'll see various difference here. And that is because these two telescopes are looking at two very different things. So the Hubble Space Telescope image is looking at the ultraviolet portion of the spectrum. So it will be called the near ultraviolet, the part that is close to the visible spectrum. And we are looking very prominently there at the very bright stars that make up the spiral arm. So we're seeing the details of those star clusters. And in this case, you can see the dark dust lanes associated with the dust, again, also part of star formation and tied into those spiral arms. The James Webb image on the lower right is actually looking at the dust. It's looking in the infrared part of the spectrum. So what we see is very bright here would be very dark in the Hubble Space Telescope image. Now, how can we tell that? Well, let's go ahead and we can swap these two and look at them so that now we see the Hubble image, the half of the Hubble image on the lower right and the James Webb image on the upper left. And if we go back and forth between these two, you can see a relationship between where those brighter areas are on Webb, which is the dust, which then appear as darker areas on the Hubble Space Telescope image. So we're really looking at the same things. But when we look at them in different parts of the spectrum, we get a different view. Things like dust don't emit a lot of visible light. So they appear dark against the backdrop of the brighter stars. Those stars don't emit as much infrared light as they do in the ultraviolet portion of the spectrum. So they do not appear as prominent when we look in the infrared. Whereas the dust is emitting most of its energy in the infrared and becomes very prominent as we look there. So again, as we go back and forth between these two, we can really compare and see the difference between these two images. And it helps us to understand why astronomers want to study all objects across the electromagnetic spectrum. And that means everything's from very high energy gamma rays and x rays to the ultraviolet and infrared that we're looking at today, visible light, as well as the longer wavelength microwave and radio waves. Each of these gives us a different picture and some things that are not very prominent in one wavelength can be extremely prominent in another. So by studying an object across the entire spectrum, we find that we can get a much more complete picture and a better understanding of these astronomical objects. So that was our picture of the day for February 6th of 2024. It was titled NGC 1566, a spiral galaxy from Webb and Hubble. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.